what's going on welcome back to today's video today is a super exciting video because i am doing another john boat to bass boat little review this time it's very very different than anything we've done before because i now have electrical as you can see behind me i put in this awesome little switch panel here and it's running uh, i've got five switches rigged up and i've got one more for some future lights for the front after i get those to come in so Let's get into this. And I'm going to show you guys and explain a little bit of what I've done, how I've done it, and then just an overall review. Because I've taken the boat out a few times since I've had the lights. And uh, I'm going to talk you through some things that I like, some things that I don't think are the best. And just overall, it's, it's kind of a, pro a process. We're just trying things, switching them out, testing, and then uh, we'll just go from there. So to start, i I got to show you guys the power, which is pretty incredible. Because I'm running this off of one giant interstate deep cycle battery and then when you look at it you can see the the big alligator clips these are for the trolling motor and this little guy here is just crimped on for the switch panel and as you can see in the back when i yeah so pretty easy i've had it on for over four hours and four hours is usually about the amount of time that i go out and i didn't have any issues and so i can run the trolling motor for like eight or ten hours usually but with the switch panel and lights on, probably not a ton more than four hours, but I haven't put it to its full limits yet, so I'm gonna be doing that soon. But inside of here, I've also got these little um, connectors here. So as you can see, you can, can unconnect the front from the back. And the reason I've got that is because this whole front deck is removable. So all this carpet up here, it's, it's not riveted, nothing's attached. And you can actually lift this up so if you get in here you're wading and you get muddy or something say you need to get out of the boat for any reason you get in here you get some mud on it you can you know take the whole thing out wash it down clean it up really good and so that disconnects the electrical on the front from the electrical in the back and we'll start with the back here so you guys can get a full understanding of what it is and how it works but that electrical that electrical runs from the battery the electrical runs from the battery that's in this compartment and it will come down the side here. And then before it gets to the bench seat, it will split and half of it goes this way and down that side and then the other half runs this way and down this side. And when you look inside of there, you can see this little tubing and it's got, on this side it has two, I think it's 22 AWG, whatever that stands for, wires in there. And then I've got a RAM mount here, that's for cameras, but I've got two lights back here. You've got your navigation light, you got your navigation light here, which is just a nice little white light in the back. And then I've got these top deck lights. I've got one here, and then I've got one on the other side. Don't mind the boat being a little bit messy. Last night we took it out. Last night I lost the biggest walleye of my life, so I'm going to play that clip for you and just torture myself again. But then on this side you can see the top deck light as well over here. And all of these top deck lights are connected together. So you've got one, two, and then there's four up front here. One, two, three, four more. And on this side as well, we've got another one of those uh, like tubes that's got the wires inside of it. And so if you need to add more, you just run more wires in there. And it's very, very clean and easy to run wires through. Like I said, the boat is a little bit messy, so deal with me. Like I said, the boat is a little bit messy, so please work with me today. Also, peep the new sticker. The, the sticker is a little bit off. This sticker is 36 inches, but it is 35 and 3 quarter inches long. So, I guess I should have tried to stretch it a little bit. But either way, as you can see, it's kind of hard to explain if you've never done it. I probably should have made a, a series on it. But... The biggest thing is that the wiring goes from the front and splits at the battery. That way the front is removable and the back is removable at two different times. The back really will probably never need to be removed because the floor comes up by itself and I can pull this up easily and clean this. And then the back is only two small screws and it comes out and it's easily cleanable. But the front is the main, you know, it's a bear to get this thing out of here. But it is doable. So if I do get a lot of mud up in here, like you can see the carpet's getting a little bit stained so I'll probably need to clean it soon. Uh, shout out to my brother for getting a big black spot there from this hitch, but So it's disconnectable And the reason there's three disconnectors in there is I almost forgot about these is I have these underglow lights So when you're cruising at nighttime and you just want just a little bit of light 
you can see right there there's an underlight and then up here there's an underlight. Now to go to the front and uh, when we're all done I'll do a grand finale tour so you guys can see everything in action. But in the front, once those wires split in the back, we've got our splitter now. I've also got some separate runs up here. So these four lights, like I said before, the top deck lights all connect to the two in the back. And then after that, we're gonna keep working our way forward. I've also got in the center compartment here, I've got an underglow light, which I think is this switch. And I'll show you that in a minute. But I've got a light under here so that when you open this up, there's a light down in here that will shine. Just quick little, there it is. So middle of the night, you're fishing out late, you need to tie something on, you can't find your lure, you just flip that switch, boom, you got power, now you can see it. We've also got an underglow light that's underneath of here. I think it is this, nope, nope, yep, there it is. You can hardly see it, but at nighttime it does shine through. And again, it's just, it's just a subtle little light that you can see and um, it's kind of cool so you don't feel like you're in the pitch black when you're out there fishing. And lastly, I've got my navigation lights up here. And the reason it's taped on here, this is the only part of the thing that looks a little tacky. It's Velcroed on. The reason it's Velcroed is because I can still pull this whole top off, just pull, unplug or unvelcro, pull this tape. The lights sit on here and this whole top can come off of there without having to put any screws or rivets or anything. That was the biggest thing is I don't want screws or rivets in this boat because if I have screws and rivets, then I'm gonna have more issues with water leaks and more potential to get water. Oh. Like I said, it, it's an incredible boat. I highly recommend that you do some wiring on your boat. You don't have to go to this extreme, but uh, I'll show you some nighttime clips as well of it running. But for right now, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what it is. This first switch runs the depth finder and fish finder. And all the wiring, the, the hub for all the wiring is inside of this box here. And so it's kind of a jumbled mess in there. But basically, I'm just making a loop from this switch, looping it, to the depth finder and it's pretty neat because it was kind of a small run and pretty easy to do and the main reason i've got this switch panel is because i didn't want to have five different or six different alligator clips on each terminal of the battery and that would be kind of obnoxious and just a wire jumbled mess down there the next switch here is your navigation lights as you can see up front i've got navigation on there and then as we come to the back i'll show you the white one as well there it is, you can see both of them. Maybe you can see both of them, but they're both on. Got the uh, white in the back and the red and the green in the front. After that, I believe we've got top deck lights. So there you go, you've got those four on there and it makes it so easy to see stuff. And you've got this one here and you can kind of see it around that Mountain Dew can over there. Like I said, kind of a jumbled mess, pretty neat. This one here is the underglow lights. So it's kind of hard to see again because it's daytime. I'll show you some nighttime clips of them as well. But the underglow lights are so huge when you're fishing. You can just see a little bit of it poking out there and you can see it over there on the far side as well. And lastly, we've got the inside light that I kind of already showed you, but there it is. So I'm gonna overlay a little bit of nighttime clips here for you, but it's really, really neat at night how this boat will light up. The downside right now is that one, I've got an extra switch, so I'm gonna to have to do some more wiring. The second part is that these lights, these are not really made for fishing. They're made for tying on some lures, tying on a hook or whatever, fixing your reel, rod reel, whatever. They're not made for staying on because you're standing here, you're sitting in the boat and the light is shining straight up in your eyes. I did not design these to fish, they're more, like I said, that's what they're there for. They're, hey, you're tying on the boat, you're getting ready to leave, you need a little extra light, boom, you got it. So, what I do need to do somehow is get some lights on the boat to be able to see forward and down into the water. Not for bow fishing, just for navigation wise. I like to take this boat on the river and there's a lot of rocks in the river and it's a little bit dangerous. So when I'm cruising, going pretty slow, I like to have some front navigation. What I'm doing currently is I'm just wearing a head lantern or wearing one around my neck and, uh, just cruising that way and taking it extra slow. But I, I don't like relying on those junky, you know, batteries from just small crappy headlights that are powered with double A's there. You can't do much with it. So what I'm gonna end up doing is probably put some kind of light bar on here, whether it's the little cube light or maybe a bigger light bar, but I'm gonna probably attach it somewhere in the front, similar to this, but maybe a little bit better connected better because this is 
Velcro and these things do move a little bit. So I'm thinking I might drill it on here. But the main reason these are offset as well is just so you still got that foot footstep and you can strap the boat on pretty well. But like I said, that's one downfall so far. The, the second downfall is, is that these things do take up a little bit of power. So they're definitely draining your battery a little bit quicker. I could potentially put another battery in here for uh, the lights and just to maintain and run the lights solely. But that's more weight. As you can see on this boat, it's a 1436. Uh, I think it's a topper. There's a tracker topper. Yeah, tracker topper 14. But it's like 36 inches wide. So it's a smaller boat. It doesn't handle a ton of weight. But with all this weight in here, and I've had four people in it before and two dogs. So it's definitely doable, but it does start to get heavy and it, it goes really, really slow. I've just got a 9.9 .9, uh, power in it, push in it. So it's an awesome boat. I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. But as you can see, the weight is definitely an issue because I did probably add another, I don't know, 10 pounds with... You know the wiring electrical tape the hoses the extra lighting you know all all the stuff the velcro etc the new switchboard i had to put this box on here and it just holds all the wires in there but I've, i honestly it's awesome i love running this thing at night the really all the downfalls can be fixed the worst thing right now is just i need some headlights and maybe some rear lights as well just so when you're cruising up and down the river you can see what you're doing just to make sure that the motor is safe Knock on wood, I haven't chipped the blades yet. The motor's still intact, but uh, I think over time, some nighttime fishing's probably going to cause some damage to that. But it's a risk I'm willing to take if the fish are biting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you've got more questions, leave them down below. I know the wiring is probably pretty vague, and uh, I didn't probably do the best explanation of it. But what I tried to do with the wiring is, you know, I would run... I would run a section of wire and then I would, you know, connect it with some crimps and a little bit of heat shrink if I had it. And then I'd wrap it with some electrical tape as well. And basically anywhere that there's a bunch of connections coming together, I would use the switches or the uh, connectors just to connect the wires. That way the front is separate from the back and that's a huge thing. And then up front, it takes all the wires from the battery and I just ran it up the side. And then because this has kind of a frame underneath of it, you can kind of see a little bit when I lift this. Oh, it's kind of stuck. But you can see this frame here and this frame kind of goes up into here as well and so i took the wires and ran it down the side and then up this frame rail here and then all the way up and then i drilled a hole through the bottom in here and kind of up through and then all the wires are behind this switch panel but i suppose that's all for now i hope you guys enjoyed this little video if you guys got comments concerns questions let me know i don't know a lot about these lights i know they're leds or i think they're leds and they're going to get a little bit warmer but uh, should i be concerned about maybe overheating them um having enough power should i put some kind of voltmeter on here to see if the battery is slowly dying how quickly it's dying let me know do you guys have any recommendations on bow fishing lights if I end up wanting to get some kind of bow fishing lights that maybe are quick connect or disconnect and then just run another power switch for that as well? So I appreciate you guys sticking with it this long. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you on another sweaty barn electrical John boat adventure. Peace, y'all.